When I think about why GLAD's work is important, it's when I think about people who don't get to see stories of themselves in the media every day. It's for athletes who still don't feel safe to come out. It's for young people who still don't feel safe to be themselves. It's for the trans community who's been continually left out of the conversation. It's for people of color who still don't get to see images of themselves on TV. It's for people of faith who need to hear messages of acceptance from their congregations. This is the work that GLAD is doing every day. I got a call from the local council representative saying that I had to resign because of my sexual orientation. In April 2012, we began work with Jennifer Terrell. She's a mom from Ohio who was ousted as leader of her son's Cub Scouts pack because she's gay. It's been over a year now since we started this campaign and we've spent countless hours working with Jen, uh, going over interview techniques and bringing her story to media. We're not looking to take down Scouts. We want to be a part of Scouts and we're telling them that there's absolutely no reason that gay people can't safely join Scouts. I was in Dallas with Jennifer and we were delivering 1.4 million signatures to the Boy Scouts of America headquarters. And I remember we went back to the hotel later and we would flip between channels and there was Jen delivering signatures and then we'd flip to the next channel and there was Jen delivering signatures. 55% of Americans believe the Boy Scouts should lift the ban. Only 33% believe that it should stay. It's extraordinary to see our work come through um, the media and it's extraordinary to see so many people understanding the harms of this policy because of the work that we do every day. You know, my attitude is, is that gays and lesbians should have uh, access and, and uh, opportunity uh, the same way everybody else does. Today we stand closer than ever before to seeing an end to this policy and that's largely because of GLAD's work. I don't want one parent to have to tell their son they can't be a part of Scouts because they're not good enough because the society says their parents aren't good enough. Do not adjust your TV. You see a sea of purple here on Wendy. Today, me and the audience are wearing purple because it's Spirit Day. Yes. Yes. Spirit Day is a day to honor young vic victims of bullying and to show your support for gay youth. People always ask me, what is next for GLAD and what is next for the LGBT movement? The National Football League met with representatives from three LGBT groups last week about the push to end homophobia in sports. Gay rights groups Athlete Ally, GLAD, and You Can Play attended a meeting on the issue at NFL headquarters here in New York City. I'm honest with them and I tell them there's so much work left for us to do. I just love to inspire other people by being myself and inspiring them to be themselves and in that way I'm proud of being transgender. When we look at the poll that just came out this week about millennials, that 81% of them support same-sex marriage. We really cannot deny the fact that the reason for that is because they were in front of their television sets and seeing films and reading newspapers that were really telling the stories of LGBT people. Long after we achieve quality in the courtroom, we're going to have to achieve equality in the court of public opinion. And that is glad at work.